Welcome to Getting Creative with dot, 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 the weekly segment where we of the Ann Arbor District Library engage with a theme arbitrarily chosen by me in order to stay creative and playful. And this week's theme is, let me see if I can get it right this time, sticks. Yay. Cool. <laughs> um, so this week we have Beth, we have Aurora, and we have Sam with us today, as well as myself. My name is Ksenia. And you guys, sticks, sticks of gum, twigs, craft sticks, sticks of dynamite. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of room for interpretation. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys have this week. So, Beth. May I? Okay, so I'm just going to roll out of the way to expose you to my installation of sticks. Oh. So it's birch. It's hard to. Here, I'll bring it one closer. How do you do it? These are some little mini ones. Um, so I've had the, this assemblage of branches, but I thought I'd stick it to the to the uh, theme. That was the news idea. But um. So I, I, I have had these, at one point, a couple years ago, I used it as a pseudo um, holiday branch, because I'm Jewish, so we don't, I don't have a Christmas tree, not, uh, but anyway, um, so I've had them, and then I started making this room into an office, and I switched out the lights. I really, really like these little tiny um, seed lights. And I think I'm going to get some more. But anyway, that's that's my installation. It, it is um, uh, three different sized branches Ooh. that I do. You know, well, um, do you know what kind of tree they're from? Oh, it's kind of yeah. It was um, in my neighbor's yard for weeks and weeks and weeks, and I kept walking by. This was really a few years ago, and I finally told myself if I see those branches again, I'm dragging them home, and I'm going to do something with them. And I did, and I wound some lights around, and, and I thought it looked cool. And then not that long afterwards, I went to TJ Maxx, and there was a stack of kind of like about a foot and a half long, three birch branches for $30. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty clever. Anyway. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Oh, thank you. I... I I really debated. I, I thought of other things to create, but I really wanted to redo this for this room. So that's what I did. So thanks for indulging me. So <laughs> one piece, one long branch that you got there? Um, it's No, it's three. So here, I can. There's. It's so tall. Oh wow. Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. Three individual ones. Yeah. I see yeah, it. so there's. There's a couple twisty ones. I like that kind of, I always like that kind of those lines and shapes. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll even suspend, suspend these and who knows what, but um, that's what I have right now. And it's my, and I, I like it because this room is a little dark, so it adds a nice little bit of mood. So. Yeah. That's Does cool. it throw off a good bit of light with the seed lights that you have on them? Compared to nothing, yeah. I mean, it, it just adds a nice little mood, but that's why I want to add more lights. Mm -hmm. I love those. Those are fun. I would just put them on everything, those little lights. They just, yeah. they just seem magical. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do like light in the jar for like a fairy light, too. They do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I. There's some really cute ones. Mm -hmm. so question, is it, are they um, stuck together somehow apart from the lights? Did you mount them uh, on something at the bottom or is it just like, that's so cool, just freeform? I just placed them there. Yeah. Strategically. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so like that third, you can't really see it, but there's, this one isn't really attached and it doesn't have any lights on it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh because it'll knock it all over but um yeah that I could I could see maybe another light uh, 
a string around it maybe to add to it. So love it. So whimsical. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's my middle name. No, it isn't. <laughs> um, so that that's it for me. I mean, um, it's I I do I like it. I'm happy to see it in this room because it was just kind of it was taking up space. And at times I've had it even behind a door, just wanting to hang on to it. So I I like it in this spot. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Alrighty, after that we have Aurora. What do you have for us today? So I have a same thought. I'm using branch as well. Um, I thought it'd be a nice way to recycle something that is nature's. And I thought what a good way to use the branch like, is to actually make A birdhouse. Oh, wow. Wow. So um, you can see it's all made mostly <laughs> on the branches except the roof and the bottoms. And wow. Then, um, so I just nail them, glue them, and um, cut them to the size I need it to be so that it could be... Um, put out in my backyard. I figure when this, uh, this challenge done, I'm going to put in my backyards. And I just got two little um, ornament to make a little fairy kind of feel to it. Wow, that looks so cool. There is so much whimsy today. It's like you spent a lot of time on it. Yeah. 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 What did you use to cut the branches? So uh, um, I use a um, handsaw, the small okay. one that to cut the branch with, and um, I use nail screwdriver. I never done so many nailing before. It's, it's like <laughs> fun. Um, my husband also recommends some construction glue rather than the regular type of glue, so that this more permanent kind of thing, so that it will last. Um, withstand the weather and that's why I use the, the wood board instead of the branches because then the water is going to leak through mm -hmm. so basically mm -hmm. for the, the top and bottom I have to make sure it's not using branch but other than that everything is all natural so cool. wow uh, so yeah it did take me a while to do it but I just thought that um, <clears throat> I want to have an element that also because it in the perch where the birds gonna perch mm -hmm. for different parts, so give them you know space to hang out. And I thought nice to have fur house because then they eat the bugs in your garden and you know, and um, so that this way you have less bug eating your vegetables in your garden, yeah. other stuff. So that's cool. Wow, that's, that's really cool. Picture of um, the birds hanging on it, it yeah. get it out there and post it. Yeah. yeah. yeah Very nice. nice. Yeah. It, that gave me inspiration because I went to someone's house, this lady, she had um, a neighbor artist that built all different type of um, bird house out of different material. Mm -hmm. And she has it like all different sizes hang up in the lath and just for the bird to come. And I thought, wow. That's something neat. I could do that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, out of branches, no less. Like, it's so cool that you made it a part of the environment, in a way. Mm -hmm. um, what did you use for the roof? Um, it's pallet wood. You know, okay. um, okay. sometimes that you get pallets that people don't need. And my husband happened to have some. And so he just cut up some pieces. That, so... Yeah, I try to reuse as much as I can too. Yeah. Material wise. So and then I did spray it a coat of um uh, protection for it so that it will be a little more waterproof and stuff too mm -hmm. afterwards. Oh my gosh. Lucky birds. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's like a little vacation home, a little cottage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Cottage up north. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Cottage at Aurora Backyard. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Very cool. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, all right. Well, Sam. Yeah. So, all right. So I made using craft sticks um, a couple of fairy doors. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. Look at and that. I originally wanted to make them out of sticks, but that turned out way harder than I could manage. So I just made some stick decorations to go next to them. Um, little like acorn light. Fun. A little oh, sign that says fairy only. Oh. And a little bunch out of sticks. That's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I love fairies and I have a couple of um, doors that I didn't make myself, so I'm really excited to have ones that I made around now. So all, cool. all the kids will want to make their own fairy doors now. Yeah. I know, it's so easy just gluing the sticks together and then, you know, that's a lot of glitter on it, but oh, that, painted okay. with acrylic paint. Yeah. Yeah, and a uh, little sticks for the doorknob. Okay. Love it. That little yeah. like the barn door style too with the uh, right. <laughs> yeah. And then did you just um use the twigs for the benches? Like did you just glue them together or did you use like nails? Yeah, it's um the top one is bark mm -hmm. and then they're just glued on with um khaki glue. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lucky yeah. fairies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any idea where you're gonna put them yet? I don't know yet. I thought I was going to put them outside, mm -hmm. but I think they're really cute, so I'll keep them inside for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. And then That's what did you paint the brown one with? Like, did you stain it? I wanted to stain it, and I tried that with some of the craft sticks. Uh, this might be stained on the back, actually. Yeah. Um, but it just didn't turn out very even. So this is just acrylic paint. I think it came out pretty well. Yeah. 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 Nice. And you said there's glitter on one. Did you say, did you paint that other one silver? Or? Oh, this is glitter. It's coming up oh, it's kind of all... weird in the, yeah, it's like purple, oh, nice. purple glitter. Yeah. Shiny. Yeah, it's really shiny. I put um, a coating on it in case I did want to put it outside. So I guess that's why it's so shiny. Wow, you guys, this week's theme is not sticks. It's just magic. I love it. <laughs> so cool. All right, Sam, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, I had a similar sort of like gathering story. Um, it's just there have been so many branches downed uh, in the recent sort of wind storms, rain storms, summer storms. And um, nobody had any idea when the chipper truck would come through. So everyone like had their branches outside and I just kept on walking past these awesome branches. Well, maybe I'll just use one of these. So I um, stole some from my neighbor. <laughs> I mean, it was on the curb anyway, so whatever. And I decided to make a tapestry, like a wall hanging tapestry of sorts out of using the branch as a loom. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, Sanya. So I, this is going to be a little wall hang. I started another one that's bigger, but I made so many warp uh, threads or warp layers that it turned out really kind of like messy and knotted looking. But as I was choosing my, um, my yarn, I have some like leftover scrap yarn and stuff like that on my shelf here. Um, you know, as well, the thing that caused me to, um, to have this branch were summer storms. I'm going to go ahead and choose like, you know, thunderstorm colors. So I did like these cloudy blues and grays mm -hmm. and like um, aquas. I actually showed it to my husband and he's like, oh, it looks like, you know, the, the lake during the storm. Like we go up to a cottage every year. So um, one year we went, there was a really, really big thunderstorm over. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go with it. going to go with it. So this yeah. is my little, my little branch tapestry. Wow. It's so really cool. cool. It looks like clouds too. You can tell that's what you were inspired by. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily the yarn was very, very fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun to make and really meditative too. Honestly, I just like didn't do anything, but just weave over, under, over, under. Wow. wow. That's <laughs> cool. 
I'm inspired. So you start with the really first, right? And then you weave the yarn into the string. Is that how you did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And could you indulge me for like half a second? I want to show you the really, really messy one that I started. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Can you grab it? So this one was way messier. So like I, I didn't even like end up finishing it, but, um, there are so many warp threads on here that. that I just like it all clumped up together. So I had to, you know, restart it and do something else because I just, I didn't like the way it looked. Um, in this case, I might do something with it. I mean, oh, it'll I like be good it. something, I'm sure. But um, yeah, it's just, it was my first sort of foray into using an alternative loom. <laughs> mm -hmm. One can have such a life goal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something people do? Use branches like that as a loom? I've seen it a couple times, like a craft fair or something like that. Okay. Um, and That's really neat looking. It's, it was really fun. Um, but it was so addictive that I kind of didn't want to stop. So I'm probably going to do some more this week. But the idea that I have <laughs> taking some thinner, longer branches with um with little like wind branches wind twigs that go off of it and make smaller ones um on longer stems and maybe put them in a vase somewhere um, mm -hmm. that'd be interesting to do yeah mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, maybe i'll see how good. how big i can go because there's still really really large branches out there on the sidewalk that i'm eyeing <laughs> you could do like a massive scale one <laughs> yeah. in one of your rooms totally yeah, yeah, it was really soothing. So I love it. <laughs> All righty. So let me just ask you, though, how, like, how did you get it started? I mean, how do you begin? What's the first step? The first step for me was putting on the um, vertical threads. Okay. So you wind. Yep, I, I just did that. So I would, I started from the thinner, it's just easier to see these, from the um, more narrow portion of this uh, branch, I tied on some string, I went up and did a full loop around the top, and then I went through and then I did another full loop on the bottom. So I ended up doing, um, having a sort of crisscross thing where I could um, stick the threads in between. And then beyond that, I just went over and under every single, um, every single warp thread um, using a tapestry needle. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah, I'm thinking, thinking going bigger might be a really fun thing to do. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. You guys, there's so much magic today. I love it. It really <laughs> is. Everyone did such cool things. I know. Um, so let's see. Next week, what do we have? Glue is a theme, I think. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Glue. So mm -hmm. for whoever's joining us next week, that'll be our the thing that we riff off um, next time. Thank you, as Thank always. You. For being here. Oh, I loved your pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. This is really great. My favorite part always seeing everyone's interpretation. <laughs> all right, you guys. I will see you all next week or in the weeks following for another theme. Thank all right. You. Thanks for the inspiration. Yes. Thank Bye. you. Bye.